The coroner who performed the autopsy on Sierra Joggin took the stand today. Many of Sierra's family members left the courtroom for that testimony. And during that testimony, the jury saw not only pictures of Sierra, but also learned how she died. It was a volunteer member of the search party looking for Sierra Joggin who led police to a cornfield where the 20 year old was found in a shallow grave. Dr. Cynthia Beiser, Lucas County Deputy Coroner, confirmed Sierra was dead when she was buried and that she died after a yellow dog toy acting as a ball gag was tied to her mouth, not allowing her to breathe. From the lips to the back of the mouth was three inches and between the upper teeth was two inches. And did you measure the uh, size of the yellow cord? I did. And what was that? It's identical. Sierra went missing on July 19th. Dr. Beiser explained to the jury that her exact time of death may never be known. Your time of death, July 22nd, and the time of death at 9 p.m. is the time the body is found and pronounced dead, correct? Yes. All right. So you have no way of, of knowing or telling us to a reasonable degree of medical or scientific certainty when the death actually occurred. Is that correct? That's correct. Dr. Weiser did tell the jury that Sierra Joggin had a skull fracture, but that didn't contribute to her death. Also, she answered a question that many had. Was Sierra Joggin sexually assaulted or raped? And she said no. Reporting from Fulton County, Michelle Zapata, WTOL 11.